Is Necromancer still a joke and everybody is laughing about our minions not working? No! Season 4 State of the Necromancer. Our minions are finally good. And not only are they finally good, every single build is better with minions. Might it be bone, shadow, or blood? Any of them, plus minions, outperforms the counterpart without minions. And that actually has to do with the new pit and game content. Hats up, not everything is rosy and good though. There is still quite some issues and a lot of skills and paragon nodes don't make any kind of sense anymore. But first, the good things. Our minions are now getting 100% of our stats, our life, armor, damage, critical strike chance, critical strike damage, everything. Our shadow mages are getting boosted by our shadow damage. All of this stuff is finally working. You don't have to mass up minion life on gear anymore since they are getting 100% of our life. Because before you had to take on every piece of gear max a minion life to even remotely makes your minions survive the hardest kind of content. And yes, we had a lot of multipliers before, but they weren't doing a lot because if you multiply zero times 150%, it's still kind of like zero damage. Now our minions are finally doing damage, and if you get those multipliers running, there's finally tons of damage spooling out of them. Just as a reference, we cleared level 200 of the pit with shadow minions, with bone minions, and a full shadow necromancer with a new even pierce amulet was also able to get that content out of the way. We did try a bone spear though without minions, and it didn't actually work. We couldn't do level 200 of the pit the damage wasn't there. Now, before we get to the problems, why are minions so important for the pit? Because they keep damage away from you. The Necromancer only has one defensive skill, and that is Blood Mist. We don't have anything else. Bone Prison doesn't count. So having minions as a buffer for the damage helps tremendously to create a barrier between you and the enemy without needing Litless Wall. At the end of the video, there's an even deeper look on this topic. But now to the broken skills and Paragon nodes. The skill Death Defense doesn't work anymore. Your minions gain 4% increased armor and 8% increased resistance to all elements. Our minions have max armor and max resistance if they're getting 100% of our stats. So giving them even more armor and resistance doesn't really make much sense, does it? This was needed before because if minions only are getting 33% of our stats, then we do need to boost their resistance and their armor to have them survive. I tried it with or without that skill, and in each case, it wasn't needed anymore. It didn't do anything for our minions. The same goes for the full cult leaderboard. This node does 25% skeletal warrior damage, which is great, but the 14% skeletal warrior armor is the same nonsense as the defense before, and the elemental resistance that all minions are getting from the infused caster does not make any sense. As down here, the node of armor clan, which hires the armor and the max minion life, doesn't help us with survival in any way. It's not boosting it at all. I tried it with and without in the 200 pit, and there was absolutely no difference. I will say though, if you're playing bone mages and they're having more maximum life, sure, it could be useful. Alone these three nodes being altered to plus 25% skeletal mage damage, and then instead of elemental resistance, May it be more minion movement speed, another tiny wee bit of attack speed, anything else would just give more happiness. And obviously down here, completely rework this node into something different. Then there's still the problem of no defensive skills. Because where everyone else has their massive survival, we do have Blood Mist, Bone Prison, and Corpse Explosion. We do get a bonus of armor, and that is quite the nice thing. But we're doing 200 levels of the pit, and there is quite some significant damage coming to us. The solution I found is that if I'm playing minions, I will still play minions with a bunch of cooldown reduction, and then I'll use my blood mist to essentially infinitely stay in the blood mist and not be able to get damaged. Because if I can't get damaged, I can't get one hit. Now the only way for Necromancer to get any kind of defense is end of the day to use Bone Storm and then a Litless Wall, which is a unique, to build up any kind of barrier or to use another unique like Temerity to actually overheal with our Skeletal Priest and, for example, the Gruesome Mending Node to build up any kind of defense where other classes do this over their defensive tab. 
Sure, we do have Bone Prison, but Bone Prison just keeps everyone away from us. It doesn't truly provide any form of defense. And that is right now what's completely missing. And it's plain obvious in the 200 levels of the pit, as it was before with the Abattoir of Zur, where you could essentially only play the Blood Mist Necro to in any way stay alive in the highest levels. Apart from that though, every build is viable, especially for the standard content. Tier 100 dungeon, tormented bosses, might it be Bone Spear, Bloodlands, Blood Surge, Glide, or Sever. Every single thing works for leveling, for the standard progression in the pit as well, until level 50, 80 probably, and then they slowly start phasing out. But no matter what you would like to play, even if it's a decomposed explosion build, all of them will actually work and be accurate, fun, and viable, especially since minions are viable. Sever finally sees the light of day with a supernatural sever on the damage buff. Hell, even minions with Bloodlands work plenty well, and Blood Surge even better since it does have a unique, but both of them have a cool new affix, and that is Essence per second. These two suffer traditionally with Essence production and they run out. But if you now have gear that produces 15, 20 to 25 essence per second, and I tried this on Blood Surge and Bloodlands, you suddenly end up a build where you can infinite Bloodlands overpower, focus fully on attack speed instead of ever having to worry in any way to go for an essence production with aspects, and you can fully focus on the damage and finally just produce your essence with your actual gear. And yes, Army of the Dead finally sees the light of day and is a usable skill in many minion builds because the new unyielding commander gives you that 100% damage boost. But it does also work in corpse explosion builds where if you're doing the full corpse explosion madness and then you're using the Army of the Dead to produce bonus bonus, that's quite nice. Blood Wave is sadly still useless because Blood Wave is not computing, not working in the way it should. Sure, you could turn this into Desecrated Ground damage, but it wouldn't be turned into a Darkness skill. It would just do Darkness damage, but yet it would still be a Blood skill, and the Blood damage doesn't actually buff it, and then Gloom doesn't work as well as it should, or Terror doesn't seem to be multiplying the full way it multiplies. There is a long way to go until every Necro skill finally works fully as intended. But with the new master working recipes, you have more choice than ever. Even a bone spirit build was finally working better than ever because you could boost the bone spirit damage even higher than ever before since you get a 100% damage tempering as you get for corpse explosion, as you get for desecrated ground damage, and generally to boost your minions like crazy. I think they do need to fiddle with the tempering recipes because a lot of the necromancer ones don't make sense. Three are Shadow, one is Corpse Explosion, and there's one that has five in it. I heard Druids have one recipe with six options. That is stupid. Not a single Temper recipe should have ever more than three options. So it's a one out of three or a two out of three what you want. Because as soon as this gets to one out of four or one out of five, actually hitting the one you want gets so lackluster, random, annoying that even with the five rolls, you more likely don't get it than you get it. And that stresses a lot. So one out of three would be perfect, especially since some of the shadow ones are actually one out of two. You could get a sever skill double cast, and that only needs two options. Uh, that's kind of stupid. Whereas the bone spear double cast has four options, where I need to get then one out of four. It's, that's a bit of a doozy. Now to the big questions. Do minions need to get balanced or nerfed towards the PDR? The biggest problem with minions at this point is, as soon as you take anything away from them again, they are kind of getting, uh, because we don't have max minion life anymore under the affixes. That means if you now go for 50% or 75% of the stats instead of 100%, we need max minion life straight back, or we're forced to take the Paragon Nords again to compromise, and even taking those might not compromise. Because right now, all the damage multipliers are finally multiplying and working because the minions are actually having a good base damage. Before, you were taking all the multipliers and your minions were doing 10,000 damage. I got the 150% multiplier, the 60% multiplier, the 60% multiplier, all of them together, like literally like 400% of multipliers, and then your skeletal mages were doing 10,000 damage crits. Now, they're finally having a good base damage that calculates into something amazing. And yet, if you take anything from that 100% stats away, you're back to minions just not being verbal 
worth it anymore. So that shouldn't be touched. What should be touched is the minion AI. It did get better. Skeletal Warriors are finally running ahead of you. Skeletal Mages are trying to do something. The Golem is still sticking too close to you and doesn't make sense, especially when I circle, they start following me instead of attacking the boss, what they should do. So a little bit fiddling and tweaking and twerking and not having your minions stuck behind a wall would go a long way. But from what we have had before, it is a 400% improvement. Yet that 400% improvement is good. It's what we should have had from the beginning on though. So we're happy, but we want to see it improve even further. Any more points you'd like to add about the Necromancer? Anything you'd like to bring down that we should add to the list that we're sending to Blizzard? Post it in the comments below. And if you now want to see the two Necromancer builds that have absolutely shaken the PDR to get inspired for Season 4 already, there you go. Enjoy.